In this video, I'm going to show you how to use MATLAB to generate summary statistics from a data set. And um, I'm going to start off not from the very beginning. Prior to this, uh, there's another video that shows how to set your working directory. One of the things you'll want to do first is set your working directory before you go forward. And all that does is make it easier to call on data sets or other things that you have stored in your working directory file. We're going to use a live script when we do this. So to start off, we're going to go over here to live script and choose new live script. And this is going to come up if it has a welcome or an introductory message, you can close that. I'm going to resize the screen just a little bit. So this is a little bit bigger. We don't need the command window visible. And then the last thing is uh, I like to have my um, code and my output in line right now. It would have the code over here on the left and the output on the right. I'm going to choose this middle option to have the code and then the output in line with each other. The first thing that we need to start off with is inputting our data. And I like to use comments to kind of share what I'm doing. And remember, comments always begin with a percent. And then uh, the font will be green when we're using the percent. To bring in the data, one of the first things we want to do is give it a name. So we're going to call it drug. And then the assignment is the equal sign. And then we're going to use the read table function. And if you have your working directory set up, it'll jump to your working directory and it'll essentially do an autocomplete where you can look through the data sets available. If you don't have your working directory set up, you're going to have to type in the full path of where you're pulling that data from. I'm going to use the assignment one exercise 2-8 data and I'll go ahead and run this. And you can see that it gives me initially this warning right here and it's just saying that it had to make uh, some of the things valid for MATLAB purposes. For example, I could have had a space, I could have had the word high, space, and then dose. It doesn't allow those spaces in there, so it mashes those together and creates a new variable name. And it may also do other things like put values in scientific notation as well. So there's our data set right there. The other thing I'll point out with the data set is you can scroll through and you can see how many values are in there, which is, which is nice and has some value. Um, but now what we want to get into is actually doing some summary statistics. So to generate the summary statistics, we're going to use the data stat function. And when we use that data stats function, we have to tell it the data set that we're calling. So we have that, we assign the data set uh, drug. And then we have to tell it what column from that data set we're using. And so we're going to do a dot after the word drug. And then I'm going to use that column that is high dose. And you notice it's doing the autocomplete. So I'm just hitting tab in order to generate that. And so when I run this, it'll generate some of the summary statistics, which you can see right here. Uh, the number is actually the sample size. We have a sample size of 22. The maximum is 134.9. The minimum is 12.9. The mean value is 52.6455. The median value is 45. The range is 122. And then the standard deviation STD is uh, 38.6046. Another group of summary statistics you may want to generate are the five number summary. The five number summary consists of the minim minimum value, the first quartile, the medium value, the third quartile, and the maximum value. And in order to generate those summary statistics, we're going to use the quantile function. And when we call the quantile function, same as the data sets, we have to tell it the data set. So that was uh, the data set drug. And then we have to tell it the variable or the column that we're using. And we're going to use high dose. And then the other piece of information that we need to include is what quantiles we want. And we enter these as a percentile in whatever order we enter them. That's how they're going to display when they show up. So if you type in the value zero, that is going to be the minimum value. 0.25 is going to be the first quartile or quantile. 0.5 is going to be the median value, which would be the second quartile. 0.75 is the third quartile or 75th percentile. And one is the maximum value. So once we have those um, values and we tell it what we want to input, we can go ahead and run the code. And you can see it's going to output the five number summary. Um, in this vector format right here. So we can see the minimum value is 12.90. The first quartile is 23.50. The median or the second quartile is 45.00. The third quartile is 72.7. And then the maximum value is 134.9. 
So that's how we can generate some of the summary st statistics using MATLAB.